you know, my opinion is worth much. So uh, I was looking forward to this this one. It looks it looks like a really good kind of like almost like um, vintage story esque b city builder. I kind of want to cover. I have a I have a key for a game called. Um, oh God, I'm not gonna remember what it's called. Do 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 do. I'm looking in my list. Nope, Dawn of Man. Dawn of Man, it's like a really kind of like prehistory, uh, you know, caveman-esque uh, city-ish builder. Vote for third segment. Yeah, so I have the list here. Why don't I get the, the vote going now? I have a plus sign. Engage with your audience. Answer viewer questions live. Apparently I have more options now. I can start... I can start a... Uh, Q and A. What does this mean? Say something. What is your favorite color? What is this? I don't understand. Questions. What is it? What? What, what do we? What is this feature? I don't understand. So there's now a live chat. And questions answer viewer questions live. Okay, so I can, apparently this is meant for you guys to ask me questions And not not the other way around three people online No, what I'll uh, the thing what I'm gonna do Andrew, you know is I'm gonna start the poll now and then people can uh, come in and vote like throughout the entire stream uh, What game for third segment? Okay, so Forbidden City. Um, Spirit Fairer. Add option. Chicken Police. Heaven's Vault. All right. So I don't know what this whole questions and answer thing is supposed to be. What is your favorite color? Purple. What is the color of your black cat? <laughs> That's the end of the Q&A. <laughs> Alright, switch to live chat. Here's your reminder to switch to live chat. We're gonna... Let's do the next story. So I'm gonna keep the... Um, I, I'm gonna keep the the vote up until the third segment so we have a good like um pool of of answers and then people can come and go and, and answer uh, w like whatever they want we're gonna do the next story segment i've prepared your usual tea master oh that's a good everyone get your tea ready it's uh, mimesis demands that you all have some tea i have a nice hot beverage for, for stream i've prepared your usual tea master thank you philip um, Master. Good grief. This is what I must hear from my old friend. This tea has a strong aroma and taste today. I like it. Thank you for the compliment, sir. What is the news you received from your old friend, if I may ask? Philip, have you heard of the... Li Didn't we do this? Did I not attempt this? Yes, although I know a little about it other than that it's an urban legend. It has recently been exalted to an urban plague, and it appears that these vise sector... Section 6 fell victim to it. Guide to this fight, take out Philip first, then Guitar Lady, then Salvador. He seems to have fallen in the library. Foolish old pal, he struggled so much trying to rise up the ranks, and yet this is how he ends. I'm sorry for your loss. I heard he was your colleague back in the Zvi. He must be heartbreaking. It must be heartbreaking. My heart is unscathed, boy. I never was fond of Walter. Pardon? He didn't quite have the potential to be a capable man he seemed clever but his thoughts were one-dimensional and his habit of making rhetorical questions goodness was that annoying although i suppose he did have some talent seeing as he managed to stay in section six without getting demoted further perhaps it was savior far savior fair or mere luck i'm sick of this smell of sh yeah we definitely did this okay 
Take out Philip first, then Guitar Lady, then Salvador. Should I go with uh, Shooty Shooty Gun Team? That's not an. That's not a question. That is an answer. Um, I do have some fun stuff prepared for after the second segment. Or at least maybe I might just do it for the second segment because I don't actually have that many things for feature segment. So I might just like prepare some fun. I have I have something nice and wholesome for y'all. Um, this is not good. Okay, so you're saying take out Philip first. Um, is he he is not susceptible to piercing and piercing is pretty much all I do So I'll do this one since it does do a little bit of bashing um, And I'm just gonna keep I'll, I'll hammer away at him Because you're you're saying uh, focus Philip and I will I'll, I'll take the the on them fighting every like one person as a incentive as an advantage do ba -da -do, do do philip got absurd passive that makes him more powerful with high emotions and yuna has passive that makes her absurd strong when she's alone okay staggered cool he is dead. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Peglin. Game is on a good path with a couple of content updates that might end up being unique must-play game. Um, I had really mixed opinions about Peglin. I played the demo, and I also played it. Um, I covered it for the channel, and uh, I, I think it's got a good heart, but I really didn't like it i don't know I, I know that's maybe not nice to say but i didn't like it um i don't mind the 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 peggle mechanics of the game i think that the roguelite features of the game kind of get in the way and don't really add much it just feels like roguelite like stapled onto peggle um oof Okay. Um, we'll we'll give this to Imatan since Imatan uh, has the most. I I forget what this what is the yellow bar? What is that called? So how was the how was everyone's weekend? What what did you what did you all do? Did you do anything exciting? I went to an aquarium. It's pretty fun. I, I say it was fun. It was the first, like, I, I don't know what you want to call it, public thing I've done since um, 2020 to put things genteely. I didn't see any meta progression in Peglin. No ghost mall? We could do some ghost mall. Is baklava? I've had baklava. Good baklava is is very nice. Unless uh, are you t w like, what kind of baklava are we talking about here? Aquariums are cool. I I enjoy the aquarium. I uh, I I did not say I won't say I had a great time. Like, I I really just like you know wanted to make something of my weekend. You know, like I wanted to do something fun. I wanted to do something that felt like a normal activity. Like I wanted to feel normal, you know, like feel like I didn't live in a in a world that was like almost completely ignoring um, an ongoing, uh, still quite potentially health risking disease. And I know that I'm on the, uh, you know, I'm, I'm the minority here. I Most people believe that things are back to normal and I am incorrect and I'm not going to I'm not going to argue with anyone who believes otherwise in, in chat. Um, that's fine. 
I'm not saying that you do. I'm just for future reference. Um, but it just it just kind of sucks, you know, like being uh, in that minority camp of of like you know wanting to go back to some kind of normal, and you know, like you know I want that for sure, but it's it's not really normality is not here yet, and so I just end up feeling very stressed out and uh not okay and uh it's just like a lot of a lot of people like completely ignoring it like you know uh, indoors with a lot of people is possibly the most like anxiety inducing thing for me and i, I don't know why what what compelled me like i want to go to the aquarium i want to go and do something fun and normal uh and that normalcy is very much drowned out in the noise of like there's a lot of people here not wearing masks and I'm not okay right now. Like I, I am, this is a fight or flight reaction for sure. And it sucks. So, um, though I did enjoy looking at some very nice looking, uh, sea critters and I do enjoy the aquarium. It was like, damn, this sucks. Uh, and, uh, I'm not enjoying this as much as I could. So that sucks. But uh, a privileged thing to be frustrated by. That Gramps still hasn't changed after so many years. He didn't seem to recognize you, though. Fixers meet so many people in their lives, it's pretty much impossible to remember them all. And Gramps knows even more people than most Fixers, so there's no way he can recount everyone he'd met. Not like he needs to, though. And he's so old, his uh, memory probably got shaky. Why didn't you say to him that you knew him, then? I didn't want to make a scene. Giving him the time of day would only make both of us uncomfortable. Imagine waking up to your enemy in battle and saying, Hi there, we were friends three years ago, remember? <clears throat> It'd be awkward for sure and bothersome. I don't dislike how you try not to leave any loose ends in relationships. I don't dislike how you try not to leave any loose ends in relationships. That's like a triple negative there. I like how you try not to leave any loose ends in relationships okay i guess so i gave up caring about bonds year how long ago and as i say from time to time you never know when anyone will backstab you in this world even those who you casually joke with gramps knew that but better than anyone i'm sure uh you should totally burn dawn office books and equip all the bernie stuff on malkuth floor okay we have another floor. It's net sack floor. We have another floor. It's hod floor. And Malkuth is also prime. So, um, burn Dawn office. Okay. Where is Dawn office? Ah. Did I not get to... There was, was there not a third book that I did not get? Did you watch Midnight Gospel from Netflix? Awesome little show. I did watch Midnight Gospel. And I really enjoyed it. It was uh, one of my favorite discoveries. I think it I think it did get a little bit formulaic, but um, the ending is so good that it really doesn't matter. Like just amazing stuff i am i both would like and also am glad there isn't going to be a sequel i say sequel because it really did feel self-contained i don't know or i don't i don't believe there would be a, a, a second season to something like that and i kind of hope there isn't but i would enjoy watching it nonetheless i uh, i think that our like we we <laughs> There's a, a tendency to, if something is successful, to want to follow it up, but I don't think that that is appropriate 100% of the time. Never been to an aquarium, but I dislike zoos 100%. Been to three different zoos and hated every one of those. Uh, is it is that for, like, ethical reasons, Andrino? Uh, which I, I, I would understand. Power was out for 20 hours this weekend, sat in my living room, surrounded by tiny candles like a Goo Goo Dolls music video circa 1997. Wow. 
Vimple is telling us that we live in the society. It's true. I'm about to put some clown makeup on. Did you watch Midnight Gospel? Greetings, that's raw. Greetings, that's raw. Oh man, that is terrible. I'm glad that it got fixed. Can I have a request? Uh, please make make look Malkuth like she's wearing Jiang Mi costume. Do do do. I will. I'm I'm happy to uh, entertain just about any request. Yeah. All right. I, I, I think I think that's really funny. That's really good. Uh, Philip ran away. That's why you didn't get his book. Should I do that combat again for Philip's book? It wasn't too bad. Food in the freezer was a bit of a loss. Oh no, that sucks. Kind of the animals looked sad and like I don't know. I didn't like the feeling. You know I I, I can understand that, Andrino. The nice thing about an aquarium though is that a fish always looks sad. You know, let me tell you about fish emotions. <laughs> the the fish just has some clown makeup on. I live I live in a fishbowl. <laughs> Yo, we live in an aquarium. <laughs> uh let me tell you about sharks. Sharks always look just a little bit upset. They they I, I, have you ever seen a, a shark smile? Neither have I. I would like uh, equipment to not be not have an appearance by default. Oh no, he ran away, and that's why you can't get his book. Oh. Oh, I see. There, there are clownfish. <laughs> You're not wrong. Every clownfish is just like we we live in a society. It's okay to eat fish because they don't have any feeling. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I'm not, I'm not going that far. Uh, okay, so you want me to equip Malkuth with f Dawn cards? Is there a way to search cards by where they came from? Also, what key page should I give them? Should I give them Hanafuda? No, that's not, that's not what they need. They want Dawn. Done. Okay, I'll give Hanif uh, I'll give Malkuth Salvador's page, maybe? We have th four units page. Let me see what the theme of this is. At the end of each scene, gain three strength if no other allies are present. Oh, I see. So Yuna likes to be alone. When inflicting burn using combat pages, apply one additional stack. So this is a burn deck. Uh, extra speed at the start of the act. Three random allies gain two protection on a successful hit deal plus one to two stagger damage if the target target has burn. Uh, I also highly recommend doing net, net sack floor abnormality, then trying to beat next fight, lose it, and then beating it with net sack. Okay. All right, I can do that. Um, do I only have the one Salvador's page? Because this seems like the best page here. So I'm uh, all right, well, well I'll, I'll await your reply on that one. Let me see if I can. Yeah, there's only the one Salvador's page. Uh, I wonder, can you, if you equip a, a key page, can you unequip some of its passives? Like, I don't want Lone Fixer. It seems like I can only have Lone Fixer. Well, that sucks. Okay, let me let me have a look for Burn. There we go. So it looks like we have Yuna, which we already have equipped, and Lulu. 50% chance to inflict Burn on successful attack. It seems like that is going to be something we really want. Um, I will... Add more passives if you have any to recommend, I'm a 10. It seems like I don't have a lot in terms of burn right now.
Um, and if it's just like, you know, just add more speed, then, then I'm cool with that. Let me see. Do I have any speed? Speed dice. I guess I'll, I'll search by um, cost four because the speed dice tend to be on cost four. Um, snipe. Offensive dice gain plus three power for the first scene. That seems like a nice one. Recover 10% HP upon defeating an enemy. That seems like pretty good too. Um, Hanafuda has its speed on it, but I don't know if I want to sacrifice. This is a discard key page, so I'm likely going to want to use that for someone else. It seems like Sayo draw two more pages at the start of the act. Slash dice power plus one. We could equip uh, a Sayo page to each of them. Seems like a good one to have. So we'll do speed. Uh, I guess that's all I can really do. Highly recommend. Okay. Uh, some truckers are on strike on Brazil due to the election results. With that, there is a huge chance that my order from AliExpress get in Brazil from China before my local store order. Oh, you know, um, Andrino, I happen to know a little bit about what you're talking about, and I think that that is really frustrating. And I guess I won't say more than that on the subject. Because, uh, you know, not much point in doing, in, in talking about it. But um, I, I hope that everything is okay. I, like, we, had a, we had a truck problem, to put it lightly, in in uh, Canada and uh, it, it sucked I I, I fortunately I, I don't live in Ottawa which was the mostly where the source of the issue was but like there are people who got freaking tinnitus from the the truck sounds and uh, yeah that's re just really frustrating but not saying people uh, can't or shouldn't protest. Absolutely protest uh, for what you believe in. But, uh, you know, there is a peaceful protest and then there's like being an absolute menace. I suppose uh, that statement in itself can seem really political. I, I guess it doesn't help the fact that I don't agree with the the people who are protesting in this instance, but, uh, you know, whatever. I don't know. There's not, not really a good way to write my way out of that one. Politics. Don't you just love it? Politics are, it's in the air. It's in the water. It's everywhere. It's in the microplastics we eat every day. Um, okay. So let me set up a combat page for Malkuth. I'm assuming we're going to go for a burn. Wow. We have nothing. What? What? Do we seriously have nothing for burn? Fence times one, taste the chain, crack of the dawn. Okay, let me let me search for the cards you are talking about. Um fence have fence give one protection to all allies taste uh want a taste of my chain inflict one bleed to self next scene this is a bleed this is not um this is not burn crack of the dawn Hmm. I have tinnitus. Not from trucks, though. Hi, Demethorn. I'm a tan. Are you uh, sure about this taste chain? Because it's it's bleed, not burn. Do you think the core of the game have no chance of being good, or is it something with its current state? I I'm not ever gonna say that any game ha doesn't have the potential to be good, and I actually really like the devs of uh, Voice Scrappers. I found out recently that they. They also made uh, that other game that I did a full series on, and I can't remember the name of it. But uh, at its current state, I just really didn't like Void Scrappers. I just didn't think it did anything 
different enough from any of the other like a bazillion survivor likes the light restoration page bleed on yourself is pretty meh oh okay uh times two crack of the dawn flash flash uh sunset blade on hit inflict one burn why didn't this appear when i typed in uh, or did keyword burn oh i was supposed to do three flash sign up Oh, well, I wanted to add one, not take it away, but okay. One, two, three. All right. Save current setup. This is going to be burn. Okay. Now we add this to the others. Wish this was a little bit, I don't know. It feels a little cumbersome sometimes, this, uh, interface just a little bit i i think the passives are okay right now um i can't really do much more creative than just add speed add speed is always you know add speed go burr uh, is good generally speaking all right let's do the malkuth abnormality i just use game fil stage filters on top hmm. whoa what the heck is that Fairy Queen. Momentary satiation. If an ally with prepared meat status has one HP, consume it at the start of the scene. Gain fragile, feeble, disarm for the duration of that scene. If HP goes down to 25% or lower, kill all allies and gain 30 strength at the end of the scene if no allies are present. Uh... Okay. So it seems to me like I don't want to kill the allies. I don't want to kill these guys. What do these guys do? At the start of each scene, restore 10 HP. HP does not drop below 1 until the queen dies. So I, from what I can tell, there's absolutely no point in trying to fight these fairy masses. I should kind of try and focus the fairy queen instead. Hey bot, how are you playing? How are you doing? I have a bit more fitting profile now. I can't tell what it is, to be honest. My girlfriend bought a stray cat home. Now we have a cat. His name is Tommy, and he is fluffy. I I, I saw a picture of him. He is very fluffy. Kenshi is on sale on Steam. Really worth it. Yeah, Kenshi is a fantastic game. That is a Guillermo del Toro. Yo, can we talk about uh, the, the, cur the, what is it? The Curios, the, the Cabinet of Curiosities by del Toro? Um, I'm not sure what these guys are going to do. On hit, recover 3 HP. So they're just recovering HP. Like these guys... Okay, this guy is inflicting bleed. So I don't necessarily want them to do that. So I will go ahead and use something on that. I, I'll go ahead and clash with these just to try and make sure that they don't get bleed on them. And give two protection to two random allies. That sounds like a good one. Um, give prepared meat status to an ally. I don't know what... Oh, if an ally with prepared meat status has 1 HP, consume it at the start of the scene and gain 10 fragile, feeb feeble disarm for the duration of... Okay, so this Queen's Decree gives prepared meat status to an ally. So that status, that... Hmm. That creature I'm going to want to reduce to 10 HP if I can, possibly, because apparently the fairy queen is going to eat that ally and then lose this game is so convoluted i like it i like this game a lot but man is it convoluted sometimes <laughs> just a little bit um all right so we're gonna go ahead and hit the queen as much as we can we'll go ahead and do a uh, crack the dawn that seems like a good one it's a robot scratching his head in confusion oh okay you're you using it objectively wrong not gonna lie good passes are always there like unstable charge, gain one strength at 50% chance, or double axe. Gotta look and experiment. 
Is your profile? I don't think I've seen the cabinet one. Um, I really have a lot of uh, appreciation and respect for Guillermo del Toro. Guillermo. But I gotta say, uh, the Cabinet of Curiosities has not been... I, I don't want to sound like a pretentious goon, but not impressing me at all. <laughs> I, I really... I actually... I straight up don't like it. <laughs> okay, so this fairy mass has prepared meat, so I want to focus on that creature, maybe? I don't know... Uh, okay, so Malkus got bleed on them. I'll go ahead and clash where the where the clash is uh, acceptable. I'm gonna go ahead and do some of this. I'm, I'm gonna try and focus this fairy and and kill them if I can. Oh, they only have the one die. Okay, yeah. So let's just hit them, hit them bad. This is an abnormality in lobotomy corp fairies were cute little chubby things that protect your nuggets from harm. They were keeping the meat fresh. This one changed from form because of starving. Oh. Okay. So I, I went a little bit uh, hard on that one fairy. I just wanted to ensure that they actually died. Quotation marks upon winning a clash deal bonus stagger damage. Nice. All right, let's do that. We'll add it to Oscar Anderson So now they've eaten that um, Fairy and now they have a bunch of debuffs. So now I want to go hard on The fairy Queen This uh, abnormality seems pretty manageable so far Maybe I am uh, incorrect about that, but right now it seems okay. Oof, that was nice. Nice. Those burn stacks are really good right now. Oh my god, she might die. I killed her. Fantastic. This game series seems to have deep world building. Yeah, I have to. I have to say, I have a lot of respect for um, the, the 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 develop developers of this and Lobotomy Corp seem to really really care about their world, and they they add a lot of stuff to it, and it is kind of a kitchen sink universe. But I really appreciate that. Like they really they have a a lot of imagination and. Um, I, I I I gotta say I'm really enjoying this this universe that they're creating. It's dark and it's very kind of grisly, but yeah, I, I I gotta say it's it's really impressive. When hit, inflict three burn one to three burn to the attacker and gain a buff at the at a forty percent chance next scene. Malkuth uh, team Malkuth is seeming like really strong with this deck. Let's just go ahead and pea brain this last fairy. Wow, that was the easiest abnormality ever. Like, maybe ever. That just went so stupidly smoothly. Got the sunshine coming in from my balcony, and it's nice. Appreci I'm appreciating that uh, sunshine. Good work, everyone. Cheerful as always, Malkuth. Uh, what are you up to? Oh, hi, Roland. Lolanda. I was just having a training session with the assistant librarians. Sorry, Lolando. Seems lively. I guess you're good friends with each other. They were my employees back in Lobotomy Corp. Back then, I could only assist uh, them from the back seat rather than on the field. It's nice to be able to work alongside them this time around. Now I'm gonna sugar sugarcoat it. Space plus P. Damn. He really, he really said it. Former co-workers from Lobotomy Corp, huh? Must be refreshing. It sure is. I used to push them too hard because of my faulty mindset. But it'll be different this time around. Uh, we'll start with the things we can do one at a time. 
face the past, and build the future. I like this quote. It feels like a good way to summarize the essence of history. It's similar to something I would have, uh, I would hear before too. You ain't wrong, but there aren't too many people who can actually learn from history these days. The lessons seem obvious, but putting them into action is the hard part. I've been thinking about the past a lot. I was a person called Elijah. That your first life? Yep, born in the nest as an ordinary citizen, went to an ordinary school. I wasn't anyone special. I wasn't richer than most people, and I didn't really have special talent in any field. The people in the nest were Eli where Elijah lived. They all seemed to have lost focus in life, spacing out and staring into empty places. Everyone only saw black and white things. Isn't a nest full of shiny and bright arrays of colors? It was almost an eyesore sometimes. That's true, but those other colors weren't necessary for reading. There's already too many black and white things for the eyes to take. It's no use seeing other useless colors. Mm. I guess Elijah could see those colors then. Not exactly, but she tried hard to see them. The colors were still there, just not for our eyes. Elijah wanted to let others know, too, about how diverse and brilliant colors are. About how colors are ever-changing and a freeform, like how the mix of two colors can bring out a brand new color. That's what Elijah thought, I think. You sound like you're talking about someone else, third person. To be honest, I don't really feel like Elijah, and I are one and the same. Maybe too much time has passed since then. The other librarians probably feel the same. My current life feels more like an extension of that life as Malkuth from Lobotomy Corp, rather. My time as Elijah feels kind of distant and unfamiliar, even though it was my first life. It's like the memories of someone from a distant past are now a part of me, if you know what I mean. It's nostalgic in a way, and a bit sad and stuff. I don't know a lot about the reincarnation jazz, but I guess that's a good thing. It doesn't feel so bad. It feels good to finally have the time to reflect on myself. Looking back at the lives... Oh, there's a fluff on my arm. <laughs> Looking back at the lives I lived and the history I made... I think we didn't spend enough time looking back. We were all too busy heading forward. She was a control freak in El Corp. She like Guernica, Guernica and MC Escher. <laughs> no one has the time to look back. Even now, I'm running straight ahead. But still, looking back at the past can supposedly give the solution for troubles of the present or worries of the future. I think that's correct. Although I'm not sure I can find the solution for the problems we're facing right now. I'm, I think I'm getting close to finding the answer for what Angela said to me before. Oh, also, how's the game audio right now? It looks really low. Sorry about that. Didn't mean for it to be that low. About who you were and how you wanted to live. Hmm. I didn't really have what I could call a dream at that time, but things are different now. If I were to dream of what I'd do after this, I think I would have wanted to be an architect, maybe. You know, the person who designs buildings and oversees the process of construction until it's finished. Everyone traumatized like hell. I guess great empires weren't built in a day. Of course it wasn't. You have to start with designing the most beautiful exterior that can be created within the functional limitations. That sounds complicated. Did you know, Roland, there's this phrase, we shape our buildings there after a, they shape us. It may be too late to change the people who'd lived so far, but what influence will the structures of the city have on future residents as they grow up? If I were to make a building with colors that'll be remembered by everyone, those are the thoughts I had. I'm sure you'll do a great job if you get the chance, Malkuth. Sounds like the job would fit you, to, uh, fill, fit you well too. Thanks. Maybe you should reflect on your past like I did, Roland. It'll be a helpful exercise. My eyes are always fixed on the past. Anyway, hope you can realize the dream of becoming an architect. We have another nugget. When attacking a target who already took damage on the same scene, deal 1 to 3 damage and recover 2 to 5 HP on hit. Um, uh, shall I do net sex, uh, page as well? Or, uh, floor? I have to set up net sec. Aren't they just, like, blunt? Did I... Maybe I did already set them up. I think I did, actually.
50 uh percent chance to inflict burn on a successful attack it looks like netsec is also burn unless i added this to their own yeah they, they're using lulu's page what what kind of um what kind of deck is is a uh, netsec is Dest in the game? I think Dest is in the game. Oh, Dest is not in the game. Dest, do you want to be in uh, Malkuth's... We already have two Nuggets that are not... Three Nuggets in uh, Malkuth's team that are not named. You have these Chain Gang lads to bleed enemies with. <clears throat> okay, so Hod is bleed. I think I did set up Hod. I seem to recall setting up Hod. Unless I didn't. Uh, it looks like I didn't. So I'm going to have to set up Hod. Having stream run in the background and big saying Netzack gave me a shock. <laughs> I'm trying to say Netzack, but it's it always comes out badly. Okay, what's your key page? Um, so is Hod bleed? Okay, if Hod is bleed, then we want to have um, you want to do chain links page. Speed, uh, open wound, plus one damage against enemies with bleed. Odd floor is outdated as heck. Chain lads are the way to go. Passives for bleed and slash empowerment. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we'll do G-Can as well, and then we'll set up slash. Can we, can we do, is there any bleed? There is bleed. But we may, we probably already have it. We actually don't have Razor Strike. Slash and bleed. Can we do um, Razor Strike without that page? Uh, razor. Okay, let's use something that isn't going to be necessarily useful for anything else, like one of these. Um, so that'll be good. And then we'll get rid of this. And we're just going to do bleed. Uh, none of these are going to be useful. Draw two pages. Mm, slash. Okay, let's, let's, instead of bleed, let's do slash. Uh, where is slash? Huh. They already have razor strike. They could use Dark Cloud Blade, so let's use, let's look at Dark Cloud. So it looks like that is only available on Sayo's page. They are currently using Gcan's page. All right, let's go ahead and add Say uh, Sayo's page. And we're gonna go ahead and add um, Razor Strike. I guess if I'm adding Sayo's page, there's no reason to have a Kurokomo. So I'll add Razor Strike and Dark Cloud Blade. That seems pretty good. We'll do their combat pages in a second. Burn some Jihan books. You can get four Jihan pages. Jihan is king. Okay. Uh, where's Jihan? Jihan, where are you? Sorry, I'm uh, having a hard time here. Um, I don't even know which. Where where is what does Jihan look like? Jihan is a microbe.
I don't have Jihan's book anymore. Did I like burn it by accident? Like completely? Hanafuda, Jiang. Yeah, I, I think I don't have any, I don't have the ability to get more Jihan pages right now. I'm, I'm looking in the reset rewards and it's looking like I don't have it. Um, so I'm going to have to do an invite. Um, how do I, what do I have to invite or do to get Jihan? There's Jihan. I assume that's not the same. That's not it either. All right. Can firing squad it real quick? Yeah. I, uh, you can get four Jihan. So what's the invite for Jihan? One micro book. Is this it? Is G can this G can? Okay, this is bleed. Is that what I want? I'm assuming that's what I want. Uh, all right, we're just gonna do Roland. I'm just gonna pea brain it. having stream run in the background hot first i've got very i have no coffee left damn it Ugh. hey prime how are you doing how's uh how's work on the uh dlc for fabled lands Child, do you want to come up here? You are circling me like some kind of vulture. Okay. okay. Oh, you're so warm. The furry, the fur baby has been sitting in the sun for quite a while. All right. Seeing as you're Canadian, are you as over Tim's coffee as I am? All about A&W now. Um, I've never really liked Tim Horton's coffee. Uh, so I guess yes. But um, I, I, I've i talked kind of extensively about this. Uh, I, I think that Tim Horton's co coffee is like a gotten completely out of convenience more than anything else. And for some reason, I do occasionally, like, enjoy the bad kind of flavor of Tim Horton's coffee. Like, it, it, it does actually fulfill some kind of weird niche flavor or, like, coffee profile for me. It's kind of like, um, you know, like... Oh, we only have bad dice here. Weird. Okay, let's just do this. Um, wow, 11. Huh? It's like, uh, you know, you can always get a really good hamburger. You know, it, it's easy to find a place that does a really good hamburger or just cook one yourself. Like, it's easy to make a good hamburger. And yet, nine times out of ten, you're like, I, I just want to go and get some, like, garbage and put it in my mouth and eat it. Um... And there's not really any reason for that other than like sometimes you just kind of crave garbage. I think that's Tim Horton's coffee. Work is great on my end, but the artist will miss the deadline by a lot. So uncertain if I'll hit release before winter sale. I might not just not give advice before 
first trying the fight you gotta experience the bs this game trials at you sometimes no worries after hod just do the next fight and then that's it okay i got book of jihan that's good so we're gonna burn a bunch of books of jihan we don't need to burn that many because we also get like everything when we get if we if we get any of the drops we get infinite of that drop also i think we only get two gcan pages it seems to me we only can have two so what's is that correct i'm at ten is that is that correct Um, all right. So we got Sayo's page on here. Okay, um, she, was it, what's her name? Hod, she's correct. We have double axe slash plus two pierce damage. Okay, that's fine. But we're gonna change, we're gonna, we're gonna give her a cheek and page. We only have the two G-Can. Nah, no worries. No worries at all. Um, passives are going to be... We're going to do double axe, probably. Kind of what I just want to give her also um, Sayo's page. So we'll have two really good members and then one member who got completely shortchanged because she doesn't have any of the good key page. And uh, it is actually Kevbo. <laughs> uh, not intentional. Okay. Um, deal plus one damage against enemies with bleed. We could use a rusted chain link page. That seems fine. If all allies are alive, gain one strength next scene. If all other allies are dead, inflict too feeble on self. Eh, that doesn't sound good. These are blunt. Uh, oink is blunt. Uh Oh, okay, here we go. Yang's page. Inflicting bleed, causing, using combat pages, apply one additional stack upon a successful slash, inflict one bleed next scene. Yang seems good. Let's use Yang. Um, and then we're going to add a bunch of stuff here. That's, it. That's paralysis. Let's just go ahead and search by slash. No, we don't. Mm, okay. We, for some reason, in uh, this screen, we cannot see slash. Slash damage. Okay, so we'll add double axe gang. That's two, and we need four more. Deal one damage to opponent upon winning a clash. That could be fine. Pierce stagger. Slash stagger damage. Minimum offense. So we need uh, three more. <laughs> Uh, wow, this is kind of hard. Blunt. Boost slash damage by one. Okay, so we need two more. <laughs> um, I can only add one more page, I think. Oh, uh, deal one plus one damage. Okay, so I think that's going to be it. These are all one cost. Can we add more key pages or are we stuck? Yeah, we can't add any more. Okay, so... I, I tried my best for Kevbo, but it looks to me like they that's the best we can do for them. Okay, now let's do combat pages. I enjoy good coffee in Europe. Loads of choice for specialty coffee brands. Um Yeah, I don't like I, I got I got a coffee machine recently and I'm I'm pretty happy with it, so I, I like making my own coffee. I actually have coffee like set up for the midstream. Is he still pissed off from last stream? Possibly true. Uh, 
I, I that's you know that's happened before for me i when i i streamed a while ago i you know when one good scuffle can make someone never want to come back and i mean that's a shame but i you know i can't really do much about it i can i guess i could message them on coffee but uh, I don't think they didn't even read my last message offering them a key for a game because they won the thing. So I don't know if they read the coffee messages. Um, okay, so we want to do we're doing slash. Let's look at these first. Crack of dawn. Oh, we want to do slash and bleed. My hod deck was fine. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe I have it load uh, saved. Roland slash. Uh, this isn't what I had saved, is it? Okay, we'll do a couple of uh, what want a taste of this chain. And then uh, so we, upon each successful slash attack the scene, inflict one bleed next scene. This seems like a good one. Inflict one bleed to self next scene. Inflict one bleed next scene. Uh, inflict three bleed to self this scene. All dice on this page gain plus two power. Could we do one of those? Inflict one bleed to self. Inflict one bleed next scene. Inflict one bleed next scene. I don't know. Five bleed to self. All dice on this page gain plus three power. Inflict one bleed next scene. Inflict one bleed next scene. Upon each successful slash attack the scene, inflict one bleed next scene. I think Dark Cloud is probably the best. I don't think so or want to believe. He might just not have the time right now. Even if he is still upset, it is okay to give him time. Yep, absolutely. I was gonna I was gonna let him know that I was sorry about how the things things went down last stream. Uh hot take GOG is underrated. I don't think that is a hot take. I think most people think that. And so that would make GOG actually rated. With Jihan, you want bleed on yourself. Oh. Okay. Uh, to self, inflict three bleed to self. Well, this seems like a pretty good setup. I could take um, maybe one head to head off and put on a here's my here's my chance. Hot take GOG is overrated Chinese Muppet. I mean to buy coffee beans and make it yourself. Yeah, I I live like right next to um well actually I'm I'm not gonna finish that sentence sentence. I shouldn't tell you where I live. But I, I to put it um <laughs> secret uh, secretly? No. Discreetly. I, I live near a very good market that has um some pretty good beans and i have been experimenting and trying different uh, stuff so we'll, we'll call this uh i'm gonna get rid of this one we'll call this one slash burn and we'll apply that to all of the other nuggets Hot take, I miss Neville. <laughs> Don't we all? Your deck is good. Okay. All right, let's do net, uh, not net sec, Hod's floor. All right, what do we got here? Dinner time targets foes with the cocoon status effect. And we have this track target foes that have killed an ally. Uh, become active and target foes for two scenes after an ally dies. So as soon as I kill an ally, this guy is going to hunt me down. Um, these guys are going to... Well, we don't know yet. These guys are going to inflict um, bind onto one of us. Become active and target foes for two scenes after an ally dies. So it seems to me as soon as I kill an ally they're going to uh this guy's gonna wait and that's the only time i can fight them so i have to kill uh kill one I i'm just gonna clash for now and kind of feel things out a little bit 
Um, yeah, we'll we'll see how things go. Let's um, turn this on so I can a bit more easily select my clashes. I don't know. You can't even select them. Okay. I ate like half a box of mints without noticing. I heard there's a coffee farms on Vancouver Island now. Weather's warm enough. I have, uh, today I have a, um, I think I have a mountain dark roast prepared in the coffee machine. And as soon as the Library of Ruina stream is over, I'm going to turn on the coffee machine. And you'll likely hear a very loud noise. I suppose I could mute myself for that. So I, that would probably be the kind thing to do, huh? Do, 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 do. Um, all right, well, this is not the greatest setup because uh, this guy is going to be taking two hits from two different characters. I suppose I could free that one up and then we could use this one to fight that one so that, okay, everyone's clashing and everything is good. Staggered. Ouch. So these spiders, some of them are full health. What just happened there? That was a sound effect I've never heard before. Face constant shifts. Constantly shifts. Dice gain different amounts of power depending on the current face. Okay, well, that's spooky. So, um, our friend, the spider bud, is now awake, so we should focus them completely, right? Whoa, well, alright. Do I have to, like, time my attack for what face is available? I'm going to go ahead and, uh, actually, let me kill this thing. All right, let's see what happens. Ouch. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, uh, almost staggered them. So they're still going to be um, active. These guys are both going to clash with that. So we have to see if we can't do something about that. Unfortunately, I don't have any cards. So I might just go ahead and let them take the damage for now. So I can focus the uh, spider bud. There we go. I almost killed them. So it was highly worth it. These guys do some damage. They might actually kill him. No, we're fine. Why is Kevbo not Jihan? You got third book of him. No, I don't. We 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 figured out that Jihan only has two books. I couldn't put a third book on Kevbo. What's this? Sp the spider bud looks so weird right now. Um, really just want to focus on killing this lad. Okay, I guess that's fine. I feel you, I have almost all of that. Um, what kind of mints? Just gonna pea brain this. We're, we're pretty much good. Ooh, I got an angry face. Look at that. Kevbo is almost dead. 
this one spider over here has managed to oh never mind we're fine intense backseating but you took abnormality that gives uh or takes power from you that depends on the emotion of the face and you don't even time it true I like how quiet and peaceful this floor can be. And the librarians here seem calm and collected, just like you are, Hod. Oh, hey, Roland. Rolando. They may seem meek and quiet, but when they work, they work hard. I rely on them a lot. I'm relying on my librarians quite a bit, too. What are you guys doing, anyway? All gathered up here. Doesn't seem like you're sorting books. We were having a meetup of our book discussion club. We pick a book that catches our attention, read it, and then talk about it. Not exactly the kind of meetup the librarians on my floor would like to have. I'm guessing your librarians are all gladly joining in with you then. Yeah, they are. They're helping me out uh, with this more passionately than I expected. I was thinking at least some of them would protest out of laziness. Imagine if you asked Netzak to join, he'd have a run away before the meetup could even start. Huh, you got that right. He totally would. Still, I can tell things that have changed from the past. I used to have similar meetups back in Lobotomy Corp, you see. Really? I suppose those weren't the peaceful book club meetings you have now. You're right, I can. I ran a counseling program with my employees. They were always living in fear of the abnormalities if they were lucky enough to survive. I wanted to be of help somehow. Lolando? Lolando? But back then, I imposed myself and my ideas on them too hard. If the employees seemed ever so slightly uncomfortable with counseling, I'd beat myself up over it and let the wound fester inside of me. I was upset that no one understood my goodwill. Sorry to say this, but past you sounds like a tiring one to deal with. I know, right? I think so too. All the things I did to help others weren't really out of goodwill or anything. I was just seeking consolation for myself. I wanted forgiveness for the misdeed I committed in my first life by being helpful to others somehow. So, did you get to be a helpful person? No. There's no way I'd actually be of any help with that kind of mindset. I even tried Enkephalon. 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 The pressure must have been serious if you started doing drugs. Despite everything I tried, I couldn't find salvation anywhere. Nothing I did could liberate me from the fact that I was a bad person and a sinner. And then you almost had the chance to take that weight off your shul off your mind, but Angela foiled that in the end. Yeah, that's how it went. Even when Angela was standing in our way, I was only thinking about myself. Selfish, wasn't I? This was my one and only chance to finally repent once and for all, but it all came to naught. It's silly, I know. I was still too stupid to realize it then, that you can't just become a good person through a good deed or two. What really matters is the mindset that prompts you to do such deeds. And how do you run into that realization? Well, I learned it after talking to my librarians face to face and holding lots of meetups like this, ironically enough. I carefully suggested having these book club meetings too. Like you said, a few librarians didn't like the idea at first, but when I explained why I wanted to hold this meetup and how I felt, that they warmed up to it and helped me out with the enthusiasm. It wasn't about the method or action itself. I realized that we should lay our hearts out in the open and let our thoughts confront each other. All's well that ends well. For sure, maybe Angela looked forward to this outcome. Mm, not sure if our pride, miss, d prideful li miss library, my god, let me try again. Not sure if our prideful Miss Library d director had the delicacy to set up a plan, so consider it. I think I'm going to confront her for real this time. For what exactly? I'll face Angela and let her know what I think. That's going to take some courage. You're right, Angela still feels a bit distant and scary to me, but I'll try to approach her nonetheless. I'll be rooting for you from the sidelines when the time comes. You might end up losing your limbs again if things don't go well. Are you going to be okay with that? From a distance, of course. You're a coward just like me, aren't you, Roland? Lolando! Encephalon is real-life opioid, or rather, class of op opioid. Damn. Well, hey, birds of a feather flock together. Let's be both brave and cowards together. Thanks for the encouragement. Lolando! We got some good stuff from that. 
Uh, so did you want me to do the try and do the net sack floor? Or are we moving on to the next story? I should also try and set up this new nugget real quick. Do do do. Oh, we do have 3G can. Yeah, why don't I have? What the heck? That's weird. Who's using? I don't understand. Already in another page, Mumu's page. Uh, who is who's using that? Uh, apparently that third G can is in one of the is in this is in this page. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay, who is this? Mumu's page. All right, we gotta go searching for that now. I think it's this one. Yeah, they're using Gken. So let's go ahead and uh, rid them of that joy. And then we'll go back to Hod. And we're gonna go ahead and give London Gken. Gken key page. Do the next story. Also, the amount of key pages you can get depends on the rarity of the page. I described how much you can get above. Purple goes three, blue four, green five. Okay, gotcha. Um, all right, let's just set this up real quick. Don't want solidarity. I can't get open wound. Hmm. This looks good. We'll add both of these. <laughs> okay. Um, inflicting burn. I need to look for a bleed. Okay. We'll add a gin. So I, I, I need one more. I don't think there is one more. So we'll just add that one. Oh, we're actually good. Wait, did, oops, I did it wrong. So we're not good. That's fine. Another encephalon fact, it generates naturally in our brain to suppress the pain. I think that's a lot of drugs though, isn't it? Uh, okay, so combat pages for London. We're going to go ahead and load slash burn. So now they are set up properly ish. And we're good. Pod is set up more or less correctly. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do the next story mission. Hey, Neville. How are you doing? How's it going? Help yourself. You're gonna starve to death if you don't eat anything. Thanks for the meal, but I don't feel like eating anything yet. No wonder. Your office got wiped out. You should harden your heart, still. Do you think it was your fault? Uh, yes. And I stopped them. Had I been stronger and more mature. I see. Philip escaped. So he, we could have this story. Had I stayed there and not run away. Then it's your fault. Huh? You were too daft and weak to keep the others safe. It's your fault that everyone died. Feel better now? Think what you want. When something happens, all you gotta do is make up reasons that are convenient to you, no? It's not like you actually care about the cause. You just want to believe whatever that convinces you. Oh, yo, it's John Bloodborne. Oh, shoot. John Bloodborne making an entrance. Hey kids, don't bully that boy too hard now. 
that didn't do anything. It was all Pamely. All right, Philip. Feeling well enough to talk now? Yes, thank you for your kindness. We are sister offices, after all. Gotta help each other out. Here, special voice for this guy. I'm sorry, we couldn't help. We were in the middle of handling a case of the distortion in the streets of District 12. Those victimized by the 8 o'clock circus held a show of pure insanity and hedonism. It was akin to a festival in hell. It gave us quite a bit of trouble. I had to get my body replaced too. This one's seriously not my style. Is that a robotic body? Doesn't that shape infringe the ethics amendment though? It's not mechanical. It's a clone of my body. I got biological body recovery insurance some time ago. Pamela's body was torn apart beyond recovery, so this was the only way we had left for her. Her head was thankfully intact. I thought fixer insurance were a complete robbery, but it did help us out for once. Speaking of, doesn't your office have any insurance? I was a relatively new member of that office, so I didn't know that much. It is energy day. I am hyper. I got work done. Nice. You'll want to see if the office had any. There are many types of insurance with various conditions. It's nice to have a body again, but why did it have to be this? What? I urgently had a body cloning surgery to save you, and this is how you thank me? What's the point? Even just looking at the mirror is discouraging. Don't you dare damage that body. You know what? Why don't you just die a permanent death this time? That way you can't be recovered by any means. You won't have to pay me for the cloned body then. You asking for a fight? Yeah, you punk. You certainly are masterful at making Shang Shang Sha, as Salvador said. You flatter me, sir. A penny for your uh, a penny for your thoughts, Philip. Did the library appear to be related to the distortion phenomenon in any way? I'm not sure. I haven't experienced the distortion myself. But that place looked more alien than anything I'd ever seen. And Master and Senbei, they got turned into books there. That doesn't help. Several associations have started keeping an eye on this matter. It's not just the associations, even the wings and the fingers are clueless about what make the distortion. All right. You don't... Oh, my God. Yeah, done. Done. Gimmick done. You don't seem too interested in the current topic. You must want to forget all this fuss about the distortion and head right back to the library and retrieve the books of your colleagues. I wish I could do just that. But my master said to me in this note, in his note that I shouldn't act hastily and instead depend on your aid. That old friend left me with quite the troublesome little fellow. Death is a staple in this business, but his wife and children must be heartbroken still. Have you met them? No, I couldn't visit them yet. Why is that? I am too ashamed to face them. Our next stop will be the library. Ready your gear. Thank you, sir. Don't mistake this for kindness. We're simply taking you with us because we are we're already planning to go there. And this is the least I can do to bear responsibility for my old friend's death. Personally, I'd never let a fixer like you join my office. It would give us a bad name. Is it wrong? Is it so pathetic for me to want to repay the favors of my colleagues for their sake? Everyone says not to act upon attachment, that it's an unclassy and naive thing to do. Can't we as fixers, no, as people living in the city, do anything on the behalf of others? You're insufferable. He didn't even say that you're wrong or anything. He just doesn't want those kinds of fixers in our office. Simple as that. Don't be a miserable ass about it. Nothing is as unreliable as someone who's easily swayed by their feelings. You want us all to die just so you can fulfill your ideals or what? You must be sincerely believing that your actions are for others, that you are different from all the other unkind and selfish denizens of the city, thinking that you are fighting for some higher cause, but know that those are in fact entirely selfish thoughts. It's the most dangerous kind of selfishness. You deceive yourself into thinking you're selfless. There can be no such thing as a selfless action for us humans. Even the act of self-sacrifice is ultimately for oneself. A very dangerous kind of selfishness, one that slowly eats away at your peers and leads them to damnation. You gave a fine speech, but I must wonder if you're truly upset for the sake of Salvador and your other late colleagues. I'll go prepare myself. 
A fellow guy seems to be hurt, but I agree with Oscar here. Few things are as dangerous and nasty as selfishness in the guise of for the sake of someone's someone else. I think I know what you mean. A determination to work for the good of others can be a dreadful and loathsome weapon. Especially if one strongly believes that the justice they're pursuing is worth sacrificing for. They're blinded for self by self-sacrifice. Sorry, self-righteousness and have no regards for their surroundings. They don't care what happens to others. They justify themselves for pressing forward, pursuing their justice, crushing everything in their way. Wow, this might be the first time we understood each other for real. Untouched, man. All about some champagne. Well, stop frowning already, would you? You're so annoying. He's still recovering. We should give him some space. Tiny things like this can still affect my psyche. Never mind, you don't need to care about me. I'll try not to be a third, uh, be a hindrance. I'll stab you as soon as I determine that you're getting in our way. Greetings, dear guests, though your group seems to be in a rather ill mood. I thought you were a machine, but could it be that you are partially human? Don't stare us at us so viciously now. We just poked you to make sure not to kill you or anything. How rude. Hasn't anyone taught you to behave? Mm. I heard the librarian of this place was supposed to be nice. Someone advised me that there's no need to be courteous with ill-mannered guests who slap and spit in my face without reason. I apologize. We couldn't afford to be polite when our very lives are at risk. Oh, really now? This isn't like what we heard about her at all. She must have ha had her own woes. Hey, bot. Legend of Runeterra? What about it? I genuinely agree with the uh, Library of Ruin, a character that is worrying. What about Legends? Of oh, I see. L O R Legends of Runeterra. Bang bang. Do do boom bow bow. Uh, let's go with Hod for now, since I've gone to effort to build them. And there, there's four of them now. How come only? Oh, I see. Never mind. I was looking at the wrong side. So I'm assuming I'm attended. I'm gonna want to focus uh, Philip again. Do. Banana. Banana. Baby. Uh, I'm just like clashing to make sure that they don't get any free attacks and I'm going to focus on Philip as much as I can. Do 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 Ouch. 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 Good luck because I'm not sure. I'm sure not believing in your victory. Okay. Legend of Runeterra. Is uh, Legends of Runeterra the card game that um, Riot tried to pull off? Isn't that isn't that right? They um they they tried to do kind of a Hearthstone esque game i heard good things about it but i i so rarely believe anything i hear about a card game okay ouch yeah this isn't going well Oh no. Hodge is dead. Philip ran away again? What an absolute pathetic character. I've never heard of Legends of Rosera before, so it's mad Magic the Gathering the Gathering, but Dota? I don't think so. Not, not really. I actually, I did download it on my phone and then I never played it. 
if I wanted to. Not really sure who I should be focusing. I guess whoever is like closer to death. Oof. Damn. I can't get anything through. At the start of the scene, each enemy is lured at a 50% chance. Allured enemies. Uh, prioritize the librarian as a target and deal two to four damage with attacks gain one to four power one to two power in clashes against allured enemies uh, let's do this again and i'll try and actually time it probably too little too late but yeah, things are not really going very well right now Okay, so I have to hit the button when it's angry. No, nope, that was happy. Oops. All right. Well, that's GG. Everyone is staggered. All right, that's fine. I have I have plenty of uh, other teams to take this on. Oh, I don't get to try again. I only get the one attempt. Okay. Well, I guess I will Pick a better. Wait, what's going on here? All right, there we go. All right, let me consider a different team. Didn't I set up Yasad pretty good? Pretty sure Yasad is set up pretty good, except I did. I think I robbed uh, Twin Swords of their of one of their passives so why don't i go ahead and uh fix that we're dealing with blunt deal one to two bonus damage I can't remember. Is Yasad set up with like high value cards? Flex one bleed slash paralysis. First scene. Sure. You know what? It's not great, but I'll, I'll use that. Loathsome uh, Sangwa Sha character. No kidding. Thank goodness there's no cost to doing these anymore. Okay, so we're going to use the Asad. I'm pretty sure we have high value cards. Yeah, Binding of Arms. Right, I forgot. This, uh, this deck is set up very specifically to have very high value cards. Unfortunately, that means there's they don't have a lot of um, light to, you know, go around. Right, Twin Swords no longer has a second dice to play with. Um, but it means that this, this team is very good at clashing. Restore two lights. So we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna do hard rehearsal. As our first one. Um, I believe Binding Arms is the one that gets cheaper as, as things go on. So we'll go ahead and do that. 
Okay, uh, I'm not doing a good job right now, be mostly because I'm not clashing. The whole point of this is to clash. Um, binding arms. Do paralysis. Um, yeah, we'll do heavy peaks and we'll also do a loosen up. We don't have a loosen up on anyone else. Okay, this is going to be maybe good. All right, good so far. Damn. N did not go as well as one would hope, to be honest. Okay, I need to clash the other one, except I'm out of light on that one. I'm out of light on all of these. I have an I'll end you. So let's see if we can't uh, prevent some kind of attack. So yeah, this this is the problem with this deck. Is that um, you run out of light very quickly. It's kind of an endurance deck because, you know, I think as time goes on, things some of the, the best cards are going to co uh, be, become cheaper. And we'll also get more light to kind of spend. But it's it's still uh, a pretty brutal deck, admittedly. So why didn't that clash? Some of these arrows are really hard to read. Jesus, this is not good. Okay, let's do a binding arms on this one just to help that guy out a little bit. Twin Swords is going to need to help someone. Okay, we'll just need to recover for a round. Wedge, Office Lads, and Lasses are very good on net sack. I was really hoping for a stagger there. Okay, I'll end you is going to work out for this. Are we still we are we clashing? Okay, yeah, we are clashing, sorry. Um we now have enough here, so let's do a binding arms. Um unfortunately Pedro is not doing so well right now. He's probably going to get staggered. I'll try my best not to let that happen, but it's probably going to happen. I'll be honest. Okay. This will this will have to do. Pedro did get staggered. We did stagger one of them though. This is good. Oh, they're just dead. They are just 100% dead. Blunt attacks inflict one bind of paralysis. This will have to do. We'll put it on Yasad. We really want to kill one of them. Uh, okay, heavy peaks. We're going to have to rely on... Uh, let's do heavy peaks. I think I should be able to kill this character over here. if With, with a little bit of luck. Okay, let's do a binding. This, this is not looking good, to be honest. For mimesis. Okay, okay. Ugh, staggered. Damn it, they're still alive. Yeah, this this fight is brutal. So Mimesis is down, and how many, how many, looks like they're not taking any, oh, never mind. 
Um, so can we redirect a couple of these? Doesn't look like it. We don't have enough light to do that. Um, let's see if we can't redirect one at the very least. I'm going to try and redirect both of them so that Mimesis gets to see, uh, another scene. Well, now Twin Swords is in a lot of danger. Almost stagger, not quite. Nothing is going well right now. Twin Swords is alive. It, never mind. Okay. I need to kill that character. They are really making life difficult for me. If I could stagger that character, that would be really good. Um, can, what can we get away with here? Hard rehearsal, maybe? Okay, that was good. That's also good. Nope, staggered. That's really, really bad. Yep, they're dead. Okay, well, that's done. Maybe you should focus them, John Bloodborne, instead. He hits hard. He does hit hard. I'm just trying to, like, clash. Let's see if Mimesis pulls, like, the greatest clutch of all time. Well, she killed one. Almost killed a second one. Uh, almost survived. Actually did survive, but, um, not, no. Um, wedge office lads and lasses are very good on nutsack. Meaning I should use nutsack? I see. That's why you wanted me to fail on this floor, on this story, so now I should do the nutsack floor. Did I set up Netsack properly? I think I did, except this third nugget. I don't think I did this third one. Uh, is Netsack... What is Netsack's, like, preference? Uh, it looks like... Oh, wait, no. Trying to figure out, uh, like I've won a certain number. Okay, here we go. Stagger damage, uh, pierce and stagger, feeble and disarm. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume stagger and um, pierce are, are what we want. No, I suggested to kill them, get their cards, and do... Oh, I see. You want you want me to win. I'm his hand wants me to win. Well, that was your first mistake. Um, I mean, there is always uh, Lolando, except Lolando is uh, probably not going to win, seeing as we only have the three nuggets, but why don't we give it a go? Yeah, don't don't worry about it. Don't Don't explain. Okay, we're, we're going to go hard on John Bloodborne. Yo, get destroyed! How is he not dead? Are they not dead? 
I want you to fail successfully. Okay, we're gonna focus this guy. Uh, passive that prevents him from being instantly murder boned. <laughs> well, we can still completely destroy his allies, right? Ooh. Please stagger. Thank you. Please die. Yes. Don't stagger. <laughs> um, can I kill him now? I need to, I need to know this. Otherwise there's no point in me focusing him. Because if I focus him and he can't die, then this will be a completely wasted turn. Looks like it can kill him. Alright, cool. That means the rest of the attacks will actually, like, hit other people. Oh, staggered. That's, that's a problem. Alright, let's do this. Roland is going to, uh... Oh, I guess they're staggered. That was probably not a smart move. Wow. Who knew the uh, lo loathsome tea maker actually had some uh, oomph? We're out of cards. Run away. Run away, punk. Staggered. Not good. I took the passive at like the absolute worst time ever. Stagger. Stagger, yes! Look at this absolute madness. Just pea brain it. Everyone pea brain. Yes! Yes! Y'all going ham and cheese. Don't tr throw too many low value range dies against one single melee die. It rerolls after winning against ranged dice. Oh. Uh. Yet again, I, I thought I could fight with them until the end this time. How long am I going to keep hiding behind others? What could I have changed if I stood with them and fought along? If only I had the courage to stand up to something. If I had that courage, I, uh, when I was told to run, I hesitated. If I ran away, leaving my master and Senbei behind, they might think me of me as a coward. Maybe they actually wanted me to stay with them? Pee the brain, you thought you were done. But the decision I made was to listen to them, believing that it was for their sake. I convinced myself that I'd only be a hindrance if I stayed. There's nothing I can do here, so I should go outside and ask others for help. This is all for Senbei and master, that I'm doing this for others. I was determined to sacrifice myself for others. I forfeited. Telling myself that this wasn't the right time. Told myself it's fine because I'm still a, self a selfless man. Said a vile and selfish person. I involved Wedge Office telling them that this is for my master and Senbei. And I took their sacrifice for granted and ran away again. It's not for myself. Trying to justify what I wanted to do. Endlessly parroting for them, for others, for someone else. For whom? The words I uttered to disguise my selfishness as something great. 
He was right. I was the most selfish and dangerous person. I don't want to embellish my motives saying it's for others. I was doing it all for me, for myself above anything else. For me, who's feeling sadder than anyone. Oh no. Oh um, no! Do I get my health back? What the heck is this guy now? No one's going to cry on my behalf, even if I'm sad. This sadness is mine to bear, after all. I must carry this emotion if I can't get rid of it. If I have to repeat the cycle of sinking into the swamp of despair and then thinking whatever comforts me, then I'll take the path of getting back on my feet with this sadness instead. Because I believe I can do it. Because it's what I must do. I have to move forward. This power has to be an opportunity given to me. Jesus. Three dice, huh? No music? Oh, yes music. Everyone's at one health. Uh, I thought for a fleeting moment they were going to give me my health back. Well, this isn't going to go well. Yo, if I can stagger him, there's a chance. I have a chance here. No! Oh. I suggest reading passives on bosses. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's going to do it for the Library of Ruina segment of today's stream. <sighs> well, it's just reading passives on bosses. I am uh, going to go make my coffee. It's not rage. It's not rage. It's, uh, we, we, you know, we're at the end. It's a convenient place to uh, stop. Now burn w w wedge office, equip netsec and do his elbow. Oh, I see. I see. So I get the cards from uh, the wedge office so I can then use netsec uh, next week. Okay. All right. Let me make my coffee and um, I'm going to grab a snack and hit the washroom real quick. I'll see you guys in a second. Be, be right back.